So, kind of a big challenge today because I'm gonna dance the Chinese dance in the Nutcracker uh, and I have to make my eyes look Chinese, which is very big challenge because I have very rounded eyes, but I think I discovered some tricks that can actually help me do that. Uh, I'm gonna be using the palette from uh, Too Faced Chocolate Gold. Uh, the colors that I'm gonna use, the pop of color, will be the pink one, it's called New Money, because my costume is also in that uh, color. And then I'm gonna use this black shadow called Decadent uh, and a pencil. Not liquid eyeliner like I normally use, a pencil because I want to blend it out as much as I can and this is gonna help me more. So, let's go and try. First thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go waterline in black, quite deep, like trying to apply as much as I can because this can fade off easily but if I try to put a lot of quantity it also gets stuck in between my lashes and then it lasts longer. So already this thing makes my eye look so much closed. I mean, the other way, if I don't put this, my eye looks much more open. So this is the first step to start taking away the round shape of the eye. Okay, I might, I'm gonna try to do this one eye only instead of doing one step every time so we can see the difference. Then, my eyebrow finishes there, somewhere there, I'm gonna pull the line out from the middle of my eye. I'm just gonna pull it out. Just like that. Yep. And I'm gonna try to fill in a little bit here with the pencil and a little bit on top because I want to cut this shape. So I have to try to make it look like it finishes there. So I'm gonna try to blend in here a little bit of black. And first step. And I'm gonna take this brush that I used to do my eyebrows to fill in my eyebrows because it's gonna help me define it a lot. And I'm just gonna try to blend it out as much as I can. What about that? Is it a start? I think it is a start. From far you can see a little bit better the effect. I still think it should be... It still goes round and then straight, so we should make it go that way. So I'm gonna try to fill in a little bit with the, the same brush and the shadow. Fill in here. And I think we have the shape. I think it's maximum I can do. Yeah, I don't think I can do much more. Actually, I'm gonna go one more time with waterline in black. And I'll probably, I'm gonna insist with it until I actually go on stage. This is my version of an Asian eye on me. Maybe I should close the black line and tilt down a little bit more. Shall I try that? Let's try that. Yeah, I think that helps. I didn't fill it in a lot in the set. Whoops. Focus. There you go. I didn't fill it in at all in the center because if I fill it there, it's gonna continue with the line of the round. So I made it thicker on the inside and on the outside. And the line will look more straight from far. I think it does look how it should be. Okay, fast forward for you guys, I'm gonna go to the other eye. Thank you. 
better light. I'm sure they're even. Are they even? They're not very even. This one I like it more. It's a little more lifted. This goes down a little bit. Mm. Let me think. Well, I'm gonna go and try to apply a little bit of a little pop of color. Uh, I'm not gonna define my crease, or sh should I? No, I think I'm gonna go for the lid, but I shouldn't give it a round shape. I should still go with a, a long look. I'm gonna play with my fingers because these uh, shadows are very, very pigmented when I apply it with my fingers. And then in case it goes on top, it will go on top of the black, then we'll go with black again on top. So. So applying more on the outside and not on the inside to avoid making it look round. good. We'll clean out a little bit the excess. I'll probably apply a, another layer of concealer after I'm done with this. Mm, they're not even. I think it's gonna be a good idea if the rest of the eye that doesn't have any shadow we put lighter color also giving that direction. Shall we try sparkly or not sparkly? Sparkly will be a lot of sparkling, but so this is the costume. Color is right, and I think then I should go maybe a little bit of gold, some something light gold for the rest of my lid. I'll try that. Light gold. We have normal gold, which is very very yellow. Then we have rich girl, which is warmer than where is it? This one. This one is very silvery. That's warmer, and then we have gold dipped. I think this is the last option. And we want to go this way. This way. And this way. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love this shadow so much. Mm hmm. That's better. We're gonna go with the black over a little bit more to make it a little more defined because it fades out a little bit with the shadows. It's very different from what I normally do. lipstick apply one more layer of concealer to whiten my face a little bit more and then we go contour blush you'll see the lipstick process and so on lashes I hope I don't ruin it with the lashes I shouldn't because they're bigger on the outside but I can actually put them this way so I found this lipstick from Urban Decay it's called Venom Cream it's pinkish I wanted to do red for Chinese, but the costume calls for pink. So, I'm gonna try to uh, outline my lips. filled in a little bit this time because I have very funny lips on the, on the left so I filled in a little bit further and they're more even I'm trying to take a little bit of the excess it gives them a little more volume like that 
Then, I've been uh, searching on the internet and truth it is, uh, Asian people have a more rounded face than European, so the way that I'm gonna try to give that effect is by applying, well, again, my contour kit, Cocoa Contour by Too Faced, and I'm gonna apply the blush, not contouring the side of my face, which already it's a little bit contoured by the way I applied the foundation. So I'm not gonna insist on that, so dipping on medium cocoa, I go on the top of my face and my forehead. So the idea, normally for contour I would go basically just cheeks and maybe a little bit in here when I, I'm missing some hair. But this time I think I shouldn't go on this side of my face and I should just go up and down to make it look a little more flat. Blending as much as I can. And then we're gonna go under my neck. It's good that my costume has a, a turtleneck actually, so I'm covered until here. If I would want to change any color of my skin, if I wanted to be black, if I wanted to be much more white than what I am, whatever it is, it's easy to cover because I'm only showing my hands apart from my neck and face. So if I go a little too dark here now, it doesn't matter because my chest is covered. It's actually a good trick. And it's making my concealer pop a little bit more because I'm darkening the rest of my face and so the concealer actually looks more white. Then I'm taking light cocoa now and applying the lighter one, the white one. Applying this lighter color everywhere where I put the concealer just to settle it down. Blush. I want to give a doll look. I, my role happens in a dream, Chinese happens in Clara's dream. So give, uh, comparing the dances to the dolls in first act that she's playing with, it's, it's a, a nice it's a nice mirroring that I see. So the more rounded this blush comes in here, the more dull I will look and the more I can mirror this, this thing with the dolls in the first act. Even if in this version there's no Chinese doll in the first act, I think it's still her dream and I'm so sure Clara likes to dream about dolls, so I think this is good. Okay. Now, my big question is, shall I do lashes? Because I'm afraid the lashes will go and do that and open my eyes more. If I put them more separate and then the thick part of the lash, of the eyelash, is going right on top of where I have eyeliner, it should just enhance that and not open my eye. But we'll try with one. See the effect from far? If I don't like them, I take them off and I'll just put mascara. Lots and lots and lots of mascara. So, what do you think? Let's go from far. I'm not sure, I think I placed it wrong anyway. I think I, I put it way too out. I like it. So I'm gonna try to place the other one a little more in and compare. from far. Yeah, not much better. Is it? <laughs> I think this one lengthens it more. I'll go ask. So the long one went one. Long one one. <laughs> it's like a Chinese thing. They're both the same now. Uh, we're gonna apply mascara to stick them together. Then I'm gonna make sure my hair looks properly for the show tonight and I'm gonna put the crown and then show you the result. Then I'm gonna put blush, pink blush here, also to try to 
length and, and width the, I don't know the word. I feel like Mulan a little bit. Should I make costume colors? Is she green? Is she pink? In that first scene when she goes, she see the matchmaker? I don't remember. 